Okay, pay attention here. If you want to head south through the tunnel from Seattle Center, exactly where we are now, here's what you have to do. From Denny Way, you can turn on to 6th Avenue North. A new section of the street runs past the tunnel's North Operations Building. It's the one with the tall yellow stacks. You'll also be able to get there via Harrison Street, which now will cross Aurora Avenue for the first time in 60 years. Just north of Harrison Street on 6th, a quick right turn takes you to the southbound tunnel entrance. If you're heading east on Mercer, it's also a quick right turn. If you're heading west on Mercer, there's no left turn from Mercer on to 6th. You have to go around to Harrison Street using Dexter or another side street. Then turn right on 6th and right again for the tunnel southbound entrance. If you want to head north through the tunnel from the stadiums, here is what you'll do. The entrance is roughly in the same place as the old viaduct on-ramp at Royal Brougham Way. To get there, take whatever avenues or streets work best for you. It might be Alaskan Way, First Avenue, or other streets. Once you reach Royal Brougham, you're close to the northbound entrance. Turn right to take the on-ramp and the two-mile drive underneath Seattle. If you're coming from I-5 or Soto, continue on Atlantic, turn right on Colorado Avenue, and continue to the northbound on-ramp to the tunnel. So one big change, of course, uh, from the viaduct to the tunnel is you have no downtown access. Right. Once you yeah. hop into the tunnel, you're in it until well, you can get out. A lot of people wonder where those drivers are going to go. Also, cell phone service. A lot of you on social media this morning asking us about cell phone service. Mm -hmm. I have Verizon. I did a Facebook Live all the way through the tunnel yesterday. No issues with Verizon. And Washdot wants to have all carriers ready to go end-to-end -end come Monday.